Right now, search and rescue crews in Columbia County recover the body of a second swimmer who drowned in the Wisconsin River. Plus, sources tell News 3 now Governor Evers is likely to call a special session next week to address the state's child care crisis. And keep your Mega Millions tickets close. We'll share the winning numbers from tonight's jackpot. It's all ahead on News 3 now at 10. A warm and pleasant night across southern Wisconsin. But as you think about your weekend plans, we do want to warn you of some potential severe weather later in the weekend. Our first warm weather team has an alert day in the forecast for Sunday. And Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti has what you need to know in his first warm forecast. Gary? Well, Eric, we'll see another quiet day for tomorrow. So the first half of the weekend won't be a problem. It'll be the second half of the weekend on Sunday. We do have a first warm weather alert day in the forecast for the potential for severe weather. Now, at this point, it looks like the uh, greatest threat is going to be across far southeastern Wisconsin, at least for the severe weather threat. That would be high winds hail, perhaps an isolated tornado. What might be of more concern for many of us will be heavy rainfall in excess of two inches in areas that get a couple of heavy thunderstorms pass over uh, because they can put down quite a bit of rain. But Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening seems to be the, uh, the time period that's most likely to see either severe weather or heavy rain. Storm Prediction Center severe weather outlook level two or slight risk of severe thunderstorms over southeastern Wisconsin, a marginal or level one risk across the rest of southern Wisconsin. Time lapse from the WIC Skycam, lots of sunshine today, just a few clouds as we headed towards Sunday. Sunset, but they were mainly mid and high level clouds. There were a couple of showers and storms over parts of eastern Iowa. Those have dissipated, and six hour future track radar shows any precipitation staying out to our west. High temperatures today on the warm side 84 in Madison, 86 in Janesville. Uh, La Crosse hit 90 degrees. Temperatures right now a little cooler, closer to Lake Michigan, 60s there. Madison still at 71 degrees. Temperatures mainly in the 70s west of Dane County. Across Dane County itself, 71 in Perry, 74 in Sauk City, and 73 current temperature in Wanakee. Look for partly cloudy skies tonight. No rain expected. It'll be mild to low of 62. Later on, I'll take a look at the timing of those storms on Sunday and what we can expect at least as far as rainfall amounts. Gary, thank you. Last night, two men in their 20s fell into the Wisconsin River and drowned. Columbia County authorities since then have been able to locate both of those bodies. Jalen Banks has more from locals and authorities on how to stay safe there despite the dangers that the river presents. An afternoon of fun turned tragic quickly. On Thursday afternoon, two fellow co-workers at a work event fell in the Wisconsin River and drowned. One died while trying to save the other. It's hard to say you don't want someone to help in that circumstance, but it's, it's easier to maybe throw a, a floatable life vest or another um, deployable object that would float to the person in an attempt to rescue them rather than going in yourself. Rachel LeClaire, someone who's been coming to the river now for 20 years, says safety at the river comes first by regarding the river. We always respect the river. First and foremost, the river's dangerous. So if we have a level of respect going in, so we look, we watch the river, we look at the currents, we look at what the little water ripples are doing, we look for areas that might be deep. Now, she's a mother, and she takes more precautions to ensure her children's safety. We usually keep the adults between the kids. Um, we're strong swimmers, but we don't rely on our swimming like strength to get us through, and we talk about what to do. Although sad, the Columbia County Sheriff's Office says there's a small silver lining from this. Although this is tragic circumstances, it provides us an opportunity to educate those who watch uh, as to those dangers of those currents and the ever-changing sandbars in, in that, that environment. In Columbia County, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now. Sources tell News 3 Now Governor Evers is expected to call a special legislative session next Tuesday to address the statewide child care funding issues. And he continues to look for support by barnstorming the state. The governor visited Milestones Early Educational Community Center in Menominee today. It's a child care center that got more than $700,000 from the Child Care Counts program funded by federal dollars. The governor's budget proposal called for making the funding permanent with $340 million in state money, but the legislature rejected it. That means the program will run out of money in January and could force many child care centers to close up shop. We do have the money in, the, in, in our bank account, and we, we should be prioritizing areas that uh, need more resources, and this is certainly one of them.
Governor Evers says his budget vetoes have the budget in good shape to be able to address child care funding. We've learned who Marshall police say shot at officers while responding to an attempted robbery Wednesday night. 21-year-old Jeremy Wills faces charges of attempted first-degree homicide, robbery, battery, carrying a concealed weapon, and more. Wills is accused of fighting a clerk at the Caps and Cork Liquor Store. That's near Highway 19. Again, this was Wednesday night. When police tried to arrest him, they say he took off running and then shot at officers. He was later found hiding in a residential area and taken into custody. We have new details on a food truck sent, set on fire outside an Indian restaurant in Madison this week. News 3 now getting exclusive access to the surveillance video from the night it happened. Take a look. Video surveillance footage from the Swagat Indian restaurant shows someone setting a fire outside the restaurant and also trying to break in. All detectives look over this video to find the unknown criminal. The business is left without a crucial piece of equipment heading into a busy weekend. This is actually hurting our business, like people, because like we have like upcoming catering like this coming Saturday, and, like we, we can't take this truck. It just makes me sad, like uh, seeing this thing like happening, like you know, like we have so much like you know, love for the restaurant. Madison Police Department is investigating the case, and the department spokesperson says it's too early to know a motive here. The owner of the restaurant wants anyone with information to please come forward. A shakeup for the Big Ten as conference realignment dominates the college football headlines. Two well-known West Coast programs, the Oregon Ducks and the Washington Huskies, are leaving the Pac-12 for the Big Ten starting in the fall of 24. This would put the Big Ten at 18 teams, the largest in college football history. Zach will have a little bit more later in sports. Excitement is brewing for Badger fans by learning that alcohol will be sold during basketball and hockey games beginning this upcoming season. It's a decision that UW-Madison PD says it's supportive of as beer, wine, and some other prepackaged adult beverages like hard seltzers will be available at the Cole Center and also Le bon Arena. Campus police say it's had a seat at the table on these discussions leading to the decision to sell alcohol at certain Badger events, working with the athletic department and university officials on a plan to manage alcohol enforcement during games. But just because alcohol will be sold at basketball and hockey games doesn't mean that football is next. A lot of people are wondering, what about Camp Randall? Camp Randall's next. Um, that's not the case. There's absolutely no timeline in place. I think the university and athletics and, and us as the police department really want to see how this goes. We'll evaluate and we'll go from there to see, to see what might be next, if anything at all. Previously, alcohol was available in some of the suites at the Kohl Center, but not for those sitting in the general admission areas. The Biden administration considering whether to designate Travis King as a prisoner of war. King is the troubled U.S. Army soldier who crossed into Northern, North Korea last month. He hails from Racine. Right now, King's status is AWOL, which stands for absent or away without leave. During her Wisconsin visit yesterday, Vice President Kamala Harris spoke about the incident. It's just um, tragic, and, and I, I really, um, I know how his family is suffering, and we're doing everything we can to bring him home. A former lawyer for the Air Force says it's unlikely that King would get POW status since there's no active fighting on the Korean Peninsula. The lawyer also pointed out that King chose to cross into North Korea on his own. Two U.S. Navy sailors have been arrested, accused of giving sensitive military information to the Chinese government. The 22 and 26-year-olds were charged in separate cases. One worked on the USS Essex in San Diego. He faces espionage charges after allegedly sending a Chinese intelligence officer the locations of various Navy ships, technical manuals, pictures, and videos of the Essex, plus descriptions of the ship's defensive weapons. The other is charged with bribery after reportedly giving an intelligence officer plans for a large-scale U.S. military exercise in the Indo-Pacific region earlier this year and photos of electrical diagrams and blueprints for a radar system from a U.S. military base in Japan in exchange for almost $15,000. Both men have pleaded not guilty. Chaos at New York City's Union Square today as thousands of people gathered for a giveaway promoted by a Twitch streamer known as Kai Sinet. The NYPD issued a rare level four mobilization calling more than a thousand officers to respond to this. That's the city's highest level of disaster response. Police say the Twitch streamer did not alert police about the gathering or obtain a permit and it was declared an unlawful assembly. Power of social media, the danger of social media. Listen, we're not against young people having a good time. We're not against young people gathering, but it can't be to this level where it's dangerous. A lot of people got hurt today. A number of people were arrested. Several officers were injured. Police say Sanat was removed by police for safety reasons as it, and is now in custody. 
He could be charged with inciting a riot. Breaking Bad actor Mark Margolis has died. His son Morgan said his father passed away yesterday after his short illness. Margolis received an Emmy nomination in 2012 for his portrayal of Hector Tio, Tio Salamanca in Breaking Bad, a character who communi communicated by using a brass bell attached to his wheelchair. The veteran actor also appeared in many other titles during his decades-long career, including Scarface, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and Oz. Margolis was 83 years old. And SAG after Chicago members held a rally with the entire Chicago labor movement earlier today. Negotiations about contracts remain at a standstill for SAG AFTRA and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Members have been on strike since July 13th. Several actors spoke during today's rally, including Sean Astin. We are facing an existential threat to what it means to be a working performer. It's not okay to have one great turn for four or five episodes on one show and that's it for three or four years. It's not okay. We, the jobs are out there and when we work them, we deserve to make a living. Union members are demanding fair wages, revenue sharing, and protection of their images and performances to prevent replacement of human performances by artificial intelligence technology. More local stories are ahead at 10. Sometimes the best medicine is a workout. At least that's what one CrossFit athlete believes, how he's combining some substance abuse recovery with high-intensity workouts. That's next. The sun is setting on Toyota's national sales event. Wait, they have until September 5th. Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on many of Toyota's most popular models. Toyota, let's go places. What did you get? A 94. That's good. AAA Auto Insurance scored a 94 on member satisfaction. What? AAA Auto Insurance. Uh-huh. You can't shush the truth, people. You can't shush the truth. AAA Auto Insurance. Expect something more. Get up to 56% off list at our huge 56th anniversary sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals. Plus, enter to win a free car. It doesn't get any better than this. Amazing deals on living rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, and more. Oh, did we mention totally free shipping with no minimum? Up to 56% off list. 56th anniversary sale. And someone's walking away with a free car at Slumberland Furniture. It's a big deal. Want a tighter, flatter tummy and the hottest deal of the year? Then check out new Ab EX from Sono Bello. After my pregnancies, my body just never bounced back. I had this stomach overhang that made me feel conscious. Emotionally, it was really sad. Feeling good up here, but you look down and you don't. After having my babies, it went in different direction. From here, it went to here, and I just couldn't get rid of that. Introducing Ab EX from Sono Bello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. I got the tummy tuck results without the tummy tuck downtime. And I finally got the flat stomach I wanted. I'm able to get back in my size eight jeans. I feel sexy, I feel confident. It just it feels good to feel good and look good. Schedule your free no obligation consultation now and find out how to get your dream body on your budget with our best offer of the year. Call or go to sonobello.com and get exclusive access to our employee only pricing. What did you get? A 94. That's good. AAA Auto Insurance scored a 94 on member satisfaction. What? AAA Auto Insurance? Uh-huh. You can't shush the truth, people. You can't shush the truth. AAA Auto Insurance. Expect something more. The sun is setting on Toyota's national sales event. Wait! They have until September 5th! Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on many of Toyota's most popular models. Toyota. Let's go places. When Tisha Campbell is around, you better recognize. The Hudson has treated me like this. Gina! It was hysterical. Plus, a beautiful surprise for this baker. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Another update tonight on James Jablonski, the 13-year-old Sauk County boy who has been missing now for nearly two months. Investigators with the FBI have given lie detector tests to his family and potential witnesses as they look to bring him home. A sheriff's detective says the FBI joined the search about two weeks ago. Jablonski disappeared June 12th, reportedly taking a family vehicle and his father's cell phone. The car was later found on the side of Highway 12 near Devil's Lake State Park. His devices showed previous searches 
about how to travel out of state. Topping tonight's health watch for those battling substance addiction or alcohol abuse, sometimes exercise can be the best form of medicine. At the CrossFit Games this week, one nonprofit is harnessing that message to help those with their journey in recovery. The Barbell Saves Project is an exercise program using group-based programs like CrossFit to build a sober community. The company is based in Arizona, but it partners with treatment centers nationwide to grow the program. A program like this allows those battling addiction the opportunity to meet new people and socialize, as well as get moving during group exercise classes. For those that have uh, experienced, you know, hard drug use and alcohol abuse, uh, it's, it's really essential to get them moving, uh, not only for their body, which can be depleted of, you know, minerals and nutrients and all those things, but it is so good for the mind. It's so good for the body, it's so good for the mind, and it's an essential part of recovery that we just felt like, you know, just wasn't really being focused on enough. That is CEO and founder Rob Best, himself in recovery for 11 years for disease and addiction. The CrossFit Games continue through Sunday afternoon at Alliant Energy Center. Nearly half of adults in the U.S. are interested in using weight loss drugs. That's according to a new poll from health policy researchers KFF. It found that 45% of the public would be open to weight loss prescriptions, including a newer class of drugs that includes Ozempic and Wigobi. Interest was particularly high among adults who had been told by a doctor or other health care providers that they were overweight in recent years and among those who were trying to lose more than 20 pounds. However, only about one in seven people said they would still be interested if they thought they would gain the weight back after stopping use. For the first time ever, those struggling with severe postpartum depression may find relief in the form of a pill. The drug makers say phase three trial results showed women with severe postpartum given Zuranolone daily over the course of two weeks had significant improvements in depressive symptoms compared to those who were given a placebo. Researchers say women given the medication saw symptom relief in as early as three days, and the study says those improvements were still reported 28 and 45 days later. This medication would bring a lot of hope to alleviate suffering um, for women that struggle with this condition. The only FDA-approved drug specifically for postpartum is a treatment given to patients through an IV. It was given the green light back in 2019. All right, get those Mega Millions tickets out. We have the numbers for tonight's drawing, which has soared to $1.25 billion. The drawing just happened in the last 10 minutes. Jackpot winning ticket has numbers 11, 30, 45, 52, 56, and the gold Mega Ball is a 20. After taxes, the big prize the lump sum actually is $625 million. It's about $365 million in Wisconsin if you take the lump sum option and then pay all your taxes. President Biden is considering designating a vast area around the Grand Canyon as the nation's newest monument. Tribes have asked the administration to protect 1.1 million acres of land around the Grand Canyon and designate it as a new national monument. The move would protect it from potential uranium mining, which is currently banned in the area in question. However, those protections were put in place by President Obama in 2012. They are set to expire soon. Tribes say mining could possibly affect clean water and disrupt sacred lands. A dog running along the freeway brought traffic to a standstill this morning in Philadelphia. That dog went running along I-95, dodging and weaving through traffic. At one point, crossed the temporary lanes that were built after part of the highway collapsed back in June. You may remember that story. Well, during this mile-long chase, the dog actually was hit by a large truck, knocked over, but simply got up and kept running, apparently uninjured by that collision. Eventually, the dog was cornered by state police off the side of the highway and is now being treated at a pet care center where they hope its owner will come forward and claim him. Gary is back. First Warren forecast. More on that alert day coming our way on Sunday, Gary. Yeah, tomorrow will be a nice day, but Sunday, another store. We have the possibility for severe weather and also for some heavy rainfall. Let's start out by taking a look at the uh, First Warren weather alert day that we have in the forecast. This is for the potential for some severe weather. I think our higher threat may end up being heavy rain here in southern Wisconsin, but high winds, hail, uh, perhaps even an isolated tornado and any, any severe thunderstorm that develops. The higher severe weather threat will be just to our south and to our east. This will be Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, but the rainfall could exceed two inches in some areas that get heavier uh, showers and thunderstorms. Here's the Storm Prediction Center severe weather outlook for Sunday. Slight risk or a level two risk for far southeast Wisconsin, south and east of Dane County. The rest of southern Wisconsin, a level one or marginal risk for severe thunderstorms, for isolated severe storms. But the rainfall, as I mentioned, depending on the areas that get the heavier rain, and it's hard to pinpoint them right now, but when you look at a map like this, you see general rainfall coverage, but you also see these spots in here that might see two, three, 
maybe even four inches of rain if you get a couple of heavier thunderstorms that move over the same general area. Those areas will be relatively small, but they could cause some flooding, even though it's been dry around much of southern Wisconsin. Uh, that could lead to some localized flash flooding, so that bears some watching, and that's why we have the first warm weather alert day in the forecast. Future track beginning at 4 a.m. Sunday morning shows a warm front kind of lifting northeastward into Wisconsin. Now, we could see more widespread thunderstorm activity along that front, but the main low pressure system in southern Minnesota will track to the east southeast right over southern Wisconsin. So, I think that will keep the highest severe weather threat farther to the south, where we see more of a wind shear with westerly winds and easterly winds colliding, where you could get some uh, isolated tornadoes spinning up. On our side of the storm, winds will generally be out of the north and northeast. That will cool temperatures down a bit, but you can see how these bands kind of pivot over the same area. So when you see that happen, you could see repeated thunderstorm activity over the same spot, and that could linger into Sunday night. And so because of that, that's why we have the potential for some heavy rain. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Tomorrow, high temperatures will be in the middle 80s, and it should be dry, but we'll see uh, showers and storms develop later tomorrow night into uh, Monday morning, but the best chances will be Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. And then after the storm, High temperatures will be uh, pretty mild, uh, upper 70s to around 80 degrees, with generally dry weather for the first and latter parts of next week. Tomorrow, a dry day, partly sunny, warm, humidity levels not too bad, high temperature at 84 degrees. Planning your day across Dane County, 81 for the high in Dalyville, 84 in Windsor, and 84 for the high temperature in Cottage Grove. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, 81 in Watertown, 83 in Janesville, and 81 for the high temperature in Platteville. Again, those rainfall amounts, this is Sunday, Sunday night into Monday morning. Some areas could pick up two to three inches or more of rain. Other areas generally about a half inch to an inch of rain across southern Wisconsin. The first warm 7 to 10 day forecast calls for high temperatures in the upper 70s beginning on Monday and then around 80 Tuesday and Wednesday. The rain chances end Monday morning, come back Wednesday into Thursday morning, then dry weather for Friday, Saturday, much of next weekend before thunderstorms arrive Sunday afternoon into Monday of the following week. And coming up in sports, skating for a cause. Why Badger legends were back in Madison and what they were raising money for. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When our clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, Yes! Everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. America, come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. See how available features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist make backing up as easy as turning a knob. Watch as Pro Power on board lights up the night. And Ford Blue Cruise makes driving even more fun. Now get a Ford F-150 XLT or Ford Lightning with 3.9% APR financing for 60 months plus 1,000 retail trade assist cash and 500 low APR cash. Get 11% off everything at Menards. Give a beautiful color to your projects with Minwax Wood Finish. Minwax is a penetrating stain that enhances all types of wood and dries fast. A quart of Minwax oil-based wood finish is $10.99 after rebate. Add an extra layer of protection with a coat of ultra-flat clear wood polyurethane. It provides a clear, long-lasting finish to interior projects. A quart of Minwax fast-drying polyurethane is $12.99 after 11% off. Save big money at Menards. Hi, my name's AJ Tackett with Third Day Farms, and this is my John Deere. So we farm corn and soybeans. It's a family operation. When I hear Sloan's, I think of the, the people. I mean, like I said, everybody here has been over backwards for us. They have multiple stores, so if they don't have a part, the turnaround on getting parts or getting what you need is, is super fast. From parts to service to sales, uh, they go out of their way to, to help you out. And this is why I think Sloan's first. We need to talk about Sonabello. We are getting rid of all of this, all of this today. Ladies, this summer you can cover up or feel confident from head to toe with Sonobello. One visit, permanent bat removal. Look at this shape. My tummy is gone and my hourglass shape is back. Wherever there is excess fat, we can remove it. That's what we do all day, every day. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells 
for good. I could actually wear a two-piece after 25 years. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Now, with our Best Body Summer event, you can schedule your free, no-obligation consultation, plus save $250 off instantly. That's $250 off your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. Call 1-888-634-9939 or go to sonobello.com. When our clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes, everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. When Bob Suter owned a sporting goods store in Madison, he'd give away free hockey gear so kids could love the game like he did. Fast forward to 2023, in Bob's honor, his son Ryan held the third annual Bob Suter Memorial Classic. And it was star-studded like in years past with dozens of Badger legends from Mark Johnson to Joe Pavelski to Brianna Decker all back to raise money, donate youth hockey gear, and help grow the game they love. To support something that might give it a kid another, you know, a new set of gear, an opportunity to get out on the ice and learn something and might fall in love with it. It's it's pretty special. The best thing about hockey, right, is that we try to give back to a sport that we love and that did so much for us players um, and then give back to those kids. So it's awesome that we are able to do that. My dad was a special person. Uh, he owned a sporting goods store and he gave a ton of equipment away. Like, that's just how generous of a person he was. So for us to do this in his name, you know, raise money, donate equipment to, to youth hockey is, is awesome. That's what he would want. In less than 24 hours, Joe Thomas will be enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And what a career the former Badger had. Drafted third overall by the Browns in 2007, Thomas was Mr. Consistent. He never missed a start or a snap. The 10-time Pro Bowler started 167 games and played 10,363 consecutive snaps. Thomas is the third Badger to have a spot in Canton, and Luke Fickle had a message for the former All-American. As to Joe Thomas, obviously, this is an incredible weekend for, for him in particular, obviously his family, um, but us, us as Wisconsin Badgers as well. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people around the state celebrating, um, but nobody more than obviously the Thomas family. The Big Ten is getting bigger. The conference agreed to add Washington and Oregon to the Big Ten in 2024, pushing the league to 18 schools. Beginning next season, the Ducks and Huskies will compete in all sports in the conference. Meanwhile, Arizona, ASU, and Utah also leaving the Pac-12, but instead they're joining the Big 12. Brewers looking to pick up where they left off last night in the batter's box. Unfortunately for them, it was the Pirates making some noise. Henry Davis smokes a two-run homer to left. The Pirates hit four home runs through six innings. Brewers go on to lose eight to four. And on the hardwood, Greg Gard landed his first commitment for his 2025 class, and it's a homegrown talent. De Pere's Zach Kinzinger announced he's staying home, calling Wisconsin his dream school ever since he was a little kid. Last season as a sophomore, he averaged 15 points per game and helped lead the Redbirds to a Division I state championship. We're back after this. Intuitive sit to start in the all electric ID4. It's the little things, it's a VW. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today and get a $7,500 lease bonus on a new 2023 all electric ID4. Wish you had help getting things done. Same. So I got section one. Fast internet, unlimited mobile, and advanced Wi Fi, all for a great price. Want it? Here's the number. Call 833-784-4999 to get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Spectrum Internet delivers the fastest download speeds in the nation. Which helps me run all of this easily. Kids checkups. Scheduled. Work. Bust. Treat dispenser. Treating. And since I'm always on this, unlimited mobile is a no-brainer. 
work. Switch to Spectrum Hello? One. 300 megabit internet, unlimited mobile, and advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security. Spectrum One. Gets it done. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Call 833-784-4999. Visit Spectrum.com or stop by a store today. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my brand new product, My Slippers. What makes my slippers different from those other slippers is my exclusive four-layer design. I wanted my slippers to have everything you'd ever want in a pair of slippers. When I first put my slippers on, I was like, wow, they feel great, and most importantly, they, they have the support that I need in a pair of slippers. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know we're having the biggest My Slipper closeout sale ever. Get our all season My Slippers and Sandals at clearance prices. They're made with our patented impact gel that absorbs and releases pressure so you can comfortably wear them all day long. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get our all season My Slippers originally on sale for $59.98, now only $25. Or our sandals for just $19.50. Quantities are extremely limited, so please order now. Why are there two extra seats? I know, Uncle Dane and his giant beard. The Volkswagen Atlas with best in class third row legroom. Visit your local dealer today to learn more about our carefree coverage suite, standard on all 2023 Volkswagen models. Welcome to Dwellings. Our fabulous showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. Your digital source for local news and info for 25 years. Channel 3000. Well, a young baseball fan had quite the reaction upon the instant realization he'd interfered with a play earlier this week. Freddie Freeman of the Dodgers laced that ball down the right field line. It bounced on the warning track. There you see it. It was gloved by that young fella. Mm -hmm. nope. His glove went over the wall, and he instantly knew it. Look, at he's feeling terrible. But it was ruled a ground rule double, of course, not fan interference. Sometimes you just can't stop those instincts from kicking in. That's a True good play. Can. That's a good play. Especially it's a good play, but not when, when it's uh, in it's play. It's a kid. It brings back yeah. memories of uh, Bartman for you, right? Bad memories right. Left field. Yep. That's right where your seats are Do at Wrigley, too. Do not interfere with balls in play. Stickler. That's, Stickler that's, uh, for that's rules. That's the old crotchety man. That that's says Jerry out there with play. Bartman <laughs> in left field. <laughs> <laughs> well, the weather should be nice for baseball tomorrow. Right now, temperature is pretty comfortable. 71 Madison. A little cooler closer to Lake Michigan. Some 60s there here in Dane County. 69 in Deerfield. 74 in Cross Plains. 73 in Belleville. Again, severe weather threat for Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Also, potential for some heavier rainfall at that time as well. Yeah, stay with us for our weather team throughout the weekend for the latest on Sunday's weather. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Have a great weekend.